Hello student, hope you are well. Already you know that online classes are going on. So today I am here again with the chapter of geography for the class 7 student. So student, today we will read about the chapter Greenhouse Effect. In the previous class, you have come to know about the chapter atmosphere. Now today we will read about the greenhouse effect. Now it's, it is one of the problem, environmental problem nowadays. This greenhouse effect or we call it the global warming. So before starting the class or before discussing about the chapter, as the name of the chapter greenhouse effect. So what is a greenhouse? So you must know what is a greenhouse. Greenhouse is a glass house. It is mainly seen in the colder areas where the heat can enter during the day times. The heat enters but the heat cannot escape from this glass house. And as a result, the temperature inside the glass house increases and this temperature is used by those plants inside the greenhouse for their survival. So the greenhouse, is, what it is doing? It is not allowing the heat to escape out. So it is trapping the heat. So if we consider our car as a greenhouse and the heat cannot escape out of this. Why? Because of this atmosphere, there are several gases in the atmosphere which is not allowing this. So the radiations which are coming inside the earth to return back, it is remaining inside the earth. So let's see what is greenhouse effect. See, I have written here some gases like carbon dioxide, CHC, methane, nitrous oxide. These gases are also called the greenhouse gases because they trap the heat. Now these gases in the atmosphere behaves like a greenhouse, allows the sun's heat to enter but prevent it from escaping. Clear? So like the greenhouse, I have said that the greenhouse heat can enter but it is not able to escape. That's why here also some gases in the atmosphere, so the, the atmosphere is present and in the atmosphere, some gases like carbon dioxide, CFC, methane, nitrous oxide. What they are doing? They are allowing the sun's heat to come in, but it is preventing it from escaping. So same like the greenhouse, so that's why these gases are called the greenhouse gases. And as a result, what is happening? The temperature is increasing. Clear? So this effect is called greenhouse effect. This phenomena occurs, you can say. Now, these greenhouse gases, what are the sources of these greenhouse gases? You can say some of the gases are present in the atmosphere, like carbon dioxide, it is already present. But when it is increasing in number or increasing in amount, then it is harmful for us. Now, why is greenhouse gases are increasing in the atmosphere? If it increases, what will happen? Then the more heat will be. It trap, it more heat will not be able to escape, so the temperature will day by day rise. Now, what are the factors that are increasing this temperature or that are increasing these greenhouse gases? See, causes of greenhouse effect are written vehicular emission. Vehicular emissions means we're using the cars, we're using bikes, they are what they're using, they're using the fossil fuel. Burning of fossil fuel is the next point. This, this vehicles, as number of vehicles will increase, the burning of fossil fuel will also increase. Fossil fuel is petroleum, coal, we are burning these things. As a result, this burning is producing large amounts of carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, which is produced. As a result, greenhouse gas is increasing in the atmosphere. Another factor is is deforestation. You know, the forest is a good absorbers of the carbon dioxide. Now, if this carbon dioxide is increasing and if you are deforesting, if you are cutting down the trees, then 
the carbon dioxide will be there in the atmosphere. It will increase day by day. Next, we have the release of CFC. CFC is also another greenhouse gas. So CFC it is released from AC refrigerator. This all is cooling agent. They are releasing the CFCs. The CFCs are also increasing because we are using nowadays refrigerator, this ACs, this cooling agent, all the things. So the huge number of CFC is releasing in the atmosphere, and as a result, it is causing the greenhouse effect. So what is greenhouse effect and its causes are clear. Now let's come to the global warming, another related topic to the greenhouse event or it's a burning problem and you can say it's global warming. Now what is global warming? So the definition I have written, worldwide increase in temperature due to trapping of heat by the greenhouse gases. Now the temperature is increasing worldwide. Means it is not increasing locally, not only in Krishna, it is increasing throughout. So why the temperature is increasing due to this greenhouse effect? As the greenhouse gases are trapping the heat, so the temperature is increasing and this increase in temperature is called global warming. Clear? So what is global warming? The so worldwide increase in temperature due to the trapping of it by the greenhouse gases. Now we will read about the causes of global warming, its effect and we will read about how to control this global warming. So we already discussed about greenhouse effect and global warming. Now we have See what is global warming. Now we will read what are the causes of this global warming. Now this causes of global warming is similar to that of greenhouse effect. See first cause I have ozone depletion. Now you know that ozone layer protects us from the ultraviolet rays of the sun. Now as the ozone layer is depleting, depleting means the ozone layer is getting thin or the amount of ozone is getting less due to some gases. So the ultraviolet rays are coming in. As a result, the temperature is increasing. Second, greenhouse gases. I say, while saying the definition of the global warming, the temperature is increasing due to the trapping of heat by the greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases means like carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, methane. So these gases are increasing and as a result, global warming is occurring. Next, deforestation. Deforestation means we are cutting down the trees, that's called deforestation. So if there is no trees, then more carbon dioxide because this green vegetation, they are absorbing carbon dioxide. Next, burning of fossil fuel. Now fossil fuel means petroleum, coal. If we use large amounts of petroleum, if we use huge amount of coal. So what will happen? Then more release of carbon dioxide more release of carbon monoxide as a result of greenhouse gases increasing and the heat will increase. So these are the major causes for the global warming. Now we will read impact of global warming. Means what happens due to the global warming? Now see if the global warming occurs if the temperature goes on increasing as it is going on then first climate change. Climate change means suppose which places are cool, temperature will be high in those places. We will see frequent cyclones. So there will be obviously a climate change. Next, melting of polar ice cap. Means the ice caps of the polar region of the poles, they are starting to melt. Why? Because of the high temperature. Next, we have said change in rainfall pattern leads to this high temperature. The rainfall pattern of the earth is also changing. Means some places are getting rain, some are not getting rain. Which, is, which places previously used to get rainfall, now they are not getting. Due to rising temperature. Next is 
effect on ecosystem. Now, what is ecosystem? Ecosystem means this living world or the non-living world, means this plant life, animal life. If the temperature changes, what will happen? The, people, the animals they may die. Those animals live in a cooler, cooler region. What will happen? They will not be able to adjust with this high temperature. They may die. Next, epidemics. Since this rising temperature may give rise, it is an ideal condition for the virus and the bacteria to grow. And it may give rise to various diseases. And the result, there can be a death of a large number of people or animals. That is called epidemics. Next, then how to control this global warming? If this global warming goes on, it is very harmful for us, so we need to control this global warming. So what the measures taken to control the global warming? See, I have written efforts to control global warming. Now first, I have reduced vehicular pollution. Means we should reduce the use of vehicles. We can use bicycles, we can do car pulling. These things can be done to reduce the vehicular pollution. Means we can use the public transport. Next is use of eco-friendly product. Eco-friendly product means which are not harming the environment, which products are not releasing harmful gases. Next, protecting ozone layer. We know that ozone layer is getting depleted and the ultraviolet rays are coming and as a result the temperature is increasing. So we should not use those products which releases the gases that depletes the ozone layer or that is affecting the ozone layer. Next, choosing right fertilizer. Right fertilizer means we are using nitrogen as fertilizer, chemical fertilizer which may give rise to nitrous oxide which is also helpful for the environment. It is a greenhouse gas so you can use bio fertilizer which is not harming the soil as well as the environment. So this is all about the causes of global warming, impact of global warming, that is effects of global warming and efforts to control the global warming or you can say measures to control the global warming. Okay? So this is all about the chapter greenhouse effect. So please follow it and go through it and I think it will help you to carry on your studies. So students, stay home, stay safe.